Hey you guys, this is Jerry Mateo with Plugin Boutique and today we're going to be taking a look at Isotope's new Ozone 8 Advanced. I know that we've done a ton of videos on this channel using Ozone 8 Advanced, but we haven't really done much using acoustic music. So I wanted to see how this would stack up on a really quiet singer-songwriter style song, which has a very intimate feel. All of this was played by one artist in his living room. We recorded everything that day and uh, let's just see what Ozone turned this into. So we're going to have the gain match function on. I have the volume down because I don't want to blow out anyone's ears versus my voice. And let's bypass it and then we'll listen to with it off and then on. So here we go. We've been climbing up the highest hills. On. My legs give out below me, but I do it for the thrill. Now you're just smoking. So you'll notice it's a pretty subtle difference. And that's actually something I'm very happy with because when I used Ozone on this, it basically told me that my mix was pretty good. Now, I did have issues I wanted to get rid of, and that was actually fixed by the dynamic EQ. Let's check out what it actually did. So I used the actual tonal balance control to kind of give me a little bit of a uh, clue right here on what I should fix because this had no drums in it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the master assistant. I'm going to show you guys what this can do. So we're going to cancel all this, basically get rid of them. I'm going to make sure my gain match is on. Go into Master Assistant. My output is going to be for streaming. We'll hit Next. And then let's find a nice place where we can start this at, maybe right around here. And let's play it. So it's basically going to analyze it, decide what you need to do, either dynamics, compression, EQ, and then set it up. It won't stop, won't stop you and I. There you go. So I'm going to gain match this. Now, again, I have the output brought down because I'm doing a voiceover over this and I don't want to fight a mastered song. So we're going to just have that down, match it. When I bypass, it's going to have the exact same output volume. So here we go without anything. A helping hand is short romance. Something to guide me through. To your question, I have no reply. It won't stop, won't stop you and I. Now, one thing I really need you to listen to is that same frequency. You see how it automatically found it again. If you go back and you listen to the vocal when I have a bypass, there's a little resonance that comes up and it kind of gets annoying. But with uh, the dynamic EQ, it basically set it up perfectly. Now, it did a little bit of a boost on the low end and a dip on the high end. And that's mainly because this song has only a bass guitar, no drums or anything to kind of give it a nice full sounding body. And it has a lot of pick sound to so cut that down a little bit. The maximizer is set pretty well. I'm going to actually just adjust the threshold because I want to do a little bit more gain reduction just to kind of push this and see how it sounds. Let's go for a modern version of this. And then for our stereo independence, I want to emphasize the transients, but I want to keep the sustain nice and stable. A really cool thing is we have the spectral shaper now, which we're not going to need at all because apparently I did a good job mixing this. But if you have issues, the spectral shaper is basically a bandpass filter that inside of it has a spectral processor. And what you could do is you can focus in on stuff and think of it as a very, very powerful and intelligent spectral processing on a very select frequency band. And it allows you to get rid of issues. It basically sounds like you're taking the emphasis away from it while still keeping it in the mix. So it doesn't ruin the mix by getting rid of the element, but it dampens it. And it's really, really simple. You just set up how much you want it. You set the threshold and you have the tone, which basically controls its overall timbre. And then you have your attack and release. Unfortunately. I was hoping we were going to need it in this, but I didn't. Uh, but we are going to mess around with the vintage tape and the stereo imager. Obviously, going to be after the maximizer and even after the dynamics. So the imager, we can hit learn and press play. And it'll basically set it. Something to guide me through to your question. Because the bass guitar is the only low end thing, I'm going to move it up to about 130. Make sure this is super mono. And for everything else, I'm actually going to widen it out because this is a singer songwriter song. And there's only one instrument for every element. There's only one guitar. There's only one bass. There's only one vocal. So let's see what we can get with making everything sound super wide and crazy. So here we go. A helping hand, a short romance, something to guide me through. To your question, I have no I'm really digging that. That sounds nice. Now, next we have the vintage tape. Now, I use this very sparingly. I barely even touch it. I kind of just drive it a tiny bit, bias it a tiny bit, and I go for either 7.5 or 15. 
30 sounds very transparent and invisible. And for something like this, which already has a bunch of top end, I think 7.5 might help give it a little bit of a smoother characteristic. So here we go. A helping hand to bypass everything. Romance, something to guide me th now, next, what we can do is we can go to the tonal balance control and we can see what it's telling me we need. So let's just take a quick look. A helping hand is short romance, something to guide me. Telling me we need to lower my mids somewhere, boost a little bit of high mids, and get rid of some bass. The highs seem okay. I kind of like them. I know it's telling me we need to do something about it, but I don't want to because I really like that sound. But I want to do the fine control and let's see what we can do with this. A helping hand is short romance, something to guide me through. So right here, it's telling me I have a specific frequency that is an issue, and that's right around here. A helping hand is short romance, something to guide me through. To your question, I have no reply. It won't stop, won't stop you and I. Let's go to a section with vocals in it because that's pretty much the primary focus on this. We've been climbing up the highest hills. Bypass My EQ. legs give out below me, but I do it for the thrill. Bypass everything. Now you're just smoking and sit. Wow, that sounds way better. Let's go maybe around here and bypass everything. Me. Sit there for hours on. and watch the cars go by. It won't stop, won't stop you and I. I'm really, really digging this. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video because I'm really happy with this. And yeah, this is Jerry Mateo with Plug and Boutique, and I will see you guys next time. Ooh.